What's up, YouTube? Happy coming to you, Captain Awesome's Fish Room. Jeff Bro, Chromas Bro, by hand feeding Mr. Micro Machine right here. This is my best buddy, old pal in the fish room. Just an immaculate fish. If you want some of these genetics, people, if you want some of these genetics, go check out Sick with Man 09's channel. Get you some umbies from his wild caught pair. So, we got a few things going on in the fish room. Uh, minus the hundreds of other things I always have going on. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to show first. Uh, Mace, get back. Get back. You ain't, you ain't getting none of that. Uh, we'll go down here uh, to the... I guess it's a grow-out for fish and a grow-out for plant tank. Uh, but it's a 40 breeder. Got some feste. Midas, a Moda that you see swimming in the middle of the screen there. We got some Rio Magumbies and we have some Magnum X Umbies uh, along with some Feste. You can see one of the Feste right there. It looks like a, looks like a good looking male. And um, yeah, we'll do this first. Um, I have a flame sword growing right here. I don't know if y'all can see that with the glare. Let me turn off this light. See if that helps. No, let's try this one. That helps. See the flame sword right there? Well, it has a shoot coming out, and you can see that shoot right there following my finger. Comes out of the top here, and as you can see, this bad boy is going to flower soon. If I can get it to focus, let's try it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Just magnificent beautiful can't wait to see what the flower looks like uh, move the Madagascar lace over here too you can see that right there but the main part of today's show is I'm gonna put my stamp on a stamp of approval on something um, which I haven't done on a food product in uh, since Hikari uh, and well I've done it to NLS but in my opinion, this food that I'm about to show y'all is by far the, the, the best food I've ever used inside my fish room. And I've used quite a few foods, and I've stuck with a couple. And this one is definitely going to be the staple inside of my fish room. So, this is what we're working with, people, right here. <clears throat> it's uh, Buy Your Fish Stuff, and I'm using Cichlid Cravers and uh, your fish stuff carnivore sticks along with your fish stuff krill guys you can't beat the prices uh, this this krill right here is a half pound of krill and I think it was like uh, 12 bucks or something like that uh, the food as far as price uh, definitely rivals NLS and in my opinion it is better than NLS uh, now they have a few selections of food um, but, okay, Mace, you can have some camera time. You want to shake? Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, good woogie. Yeah, good woogie. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a Mace. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, but what I found is uh, some of the foods that they have, uh, I don't you know, I don't, I don't agree with uh, the ingredient labels on some of the food that they have, but the ingredient labels on these two foods that I have chosen are, in my opinion, better than NLS. Now, I know I'm going to have some people out there, you know, go against what I just said, but guys, I'm telling you, I've been using this food for uh, about a month now, and I can tell you that taking my fish off of NLS and putting them on this, I've seen a dramatic difference, okay? Now, before, when my fish are on NLS, uh, you saw my Jaguar, okay? He's eating your fish stuff food. He's eating uh, the carny sticks, the carnivore sticks, and you can see that, I mean, he, ah, just a beautiful specimen. I mean, this, this Jaguar is the most beautiful male jaguar I've ever owned. Okay, guys? And I don't think it would have been possible, of course, without the water water quality that I provide, um, but I think it's the quality of this new food that I'm using. Um, and 
here's 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 the the biggest teller of the story right here. My boy Big Rig. Okay? Now, y'all remember Big Rig. All right? You remember him? Hard-headed ass fish. Never wanted anything besides Hikari carnivore sticks or her Hikari massivore delight. His female was starting to act just like him. Okay? Y'all remember the colors. And if you don't, go back and watch a video about a month and a half ago and look at Big Rig's colors. Come back to this video and look at his colors now. Okay? That's coming from Hikari to your fish stuffed carnivore sticks. He eats your fish stuffed carnivore sticks. This guy would never touch NLS. Never. Wouldn't even put it in his mouth, chew it up, and spit it out. But I started feeding him the your fish stuffed krill. He always ate krill. And then all of a sudden he just demolished these carnivore sticks, okay guys? And I can tell you that his colors are banging. 110% better than what he was eating with Hikari colors, okay? 110% better. I don't know if that statement just made sense. Uh, you know, I'm kind of flabbergasted with a few things going on, but look at this guy. Look at him. Just an immaculate showpiece of a dovi, okay? Parachromus dovi, this guy is big rig. Now, we're going to go over here and uh, we're going to have to work with the glare but this guy was eating NLS along with his female and I'll try to show you her in just a second uh, well here let me show you let me show you how he eats uh, if I can find the food here it is alright just like normal guys I keep my food inside these little blue cups and we'll go over here and we'll show you the little pellets but I measure it out with a little quarter teaspoon get about this much now watch this guy Watch him. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, now let me try to show you some colors. You remember his colors on NLS. Now look at his colors on this fish food, guys. Your fish stuff. Look at the greens. Look at the blues. Look at the red in his dorsal. Oh my God. This fish is beautiful. Okay? I attribute that to the water quality that I provide and your fish stuff fish food look at this fish guys look at the reds up in his forehead just look at the spangling look at the freckles oh my god oh my god are you kidding me now look at his female y'all all remember how the female looked kind of drab look at her popping what's that fish doing what is that fish doing besides popping and looking good okay let's get let's get her some food she loves it as well. Boom. Maybe not because of the camera. You know, I can't ever do a feeding video without at least one of my fish making me look stupid. But guys, look at her. Look at the blues. Look at the reds. There's some greens in there. Just, oh my God, beautiful. Okay? Now, y'all all know my favorite fish in the fish room right now is this boy right here. Okay? Okay? He eats the carnivore sticks too. Alright? Bam. Bam. Okay? Now, y'all have seen him color up within the last few weeks. Y'all have seen the videos I put out on him. I attribute that to the water quality and the food that I'm feeding. Your fish stuff food. Guys, this is the best food I've ever used. It's cheap. Made in America. Downright. Just good, hearty, wholesome food. All of my fish inside my fish room are eating it. Okay? Here's the cichlid cravers. This is the uh, 1.5 millimeter pellet. Okay? Watch this. Boom. Look at these guys. Look at the colors popping in this tank, guys. Look at the colors popping in this tank. And these are just regular glow or uh, plant glow plant grow bulbs, alright? Colors are still popping. Look at that moda. You saw a feste swim by right there. Look at the Midas. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright? And the activity of the fish, um, you know, I, I can say that the activity level is higher. Look at that Midas down there, guys. Look at the oranges popping on that guy. Look at him. God! Okay, that's all I have to say. This food is just awesome. Look at this umbi up here. 
Sorry about the glare, but I mean, you get the point. Look at those colors, guys. Look at those colors. Look at that Jag right there. Look at that Feste. Guys, I'm telling you, look at that Feste right there. Look how small he is with all, the, with all that color in him. Look at that. Come on now. Good God Almighty. I attribute it to the food and the water quality, people. I'm telling you. There's nothing like this food. <coughs> I've used NLS. Um, and I was actually switched over to NLS by my buddy Forrest. Y'all know him as Cichlid Man 09. Um, I was switched over to NLS. I quit using Hikari. Um, I actually switched back to, the, back to Hikari for a little bit. Uh, went back to NLS. Forrest showed me this food. I picked some up. I tried it. And let me tell you. Let me tell you. The ingredient label is phenomenal. Um, the, the mess that the food makes, hardly any. And the colors and, the, and the, the vibrancy of the fish that I'm getting, second to none, guys. Second to none. All right, look at this guy. This right here is my favorite fish in the fish room right now. It's my F1 Rio Magdalena Umbi Micro Machine. Here. Let's, let's do another hand feeding of some krill. Now the krill that I feed, uh, I can't say that their krill is different, um, but I can say that it has a better um, uh, nutrient label as far as what nutrients uh, krill have. I can say it's better than most of the krills I've ever used, and it's, it's phenomenal, guys. Uh, oh, damn, he got my finger on that one. Anyways... But let me tell you something, guys. Your fish stuff. I'll put a link to the website in the description. I think you can buy it on eBay as well. As a matter of fact, I know you can. And my whole fish room is on it. My whole fish room is on your fish stuff, including Mr. Hardhead here. Including this guy. This guy right here. Mr. Hardhead himself. And look at those blues, greens. Look at them, guys. Look at the purples. Oh, my God. So, your fish stuff, fish food, carnivore sticks and cichlid cravers, those are the only two that I'm putting my name on along with the krill, guys. Pick you some up if you don't believe what I'm saying and just see the results for yourself. I am not sponsored by these people. Um, I do not have a paid endorsement by these people. So, I'm doing this purely on my own to help other hobbyists find a good quality, solid, uh, very well-priced American-made food, and in my opinion, it's better than Hikari, it's better than NLS, and that's all I have to say about it, guys. So, with that said, stay tuned for that flower. Stay tuned for this flower bloom, and we're going to see what that bad boy looks like. This is what I'm doing, this is what I've done. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and we'll see you all next time, guys. Check out yourfishstuff.com and get you some. Peace.